we're talking about separation of enantiomers. And the problem with separating enantiomers is that they have the same physical properties and they do the same reactions. Uh, but in terms of the physical properties, it's very difficult to separate enantiomers. So what we have to do is that we need to actually convert enantiomers into diastereomers. Because diastereomers have different physical properties, so they're going to be much easier to separate than if we had the enantiomers. So this is what we're going to do. I already have the glassware because I'm not really good at drawing glassware. But let's say you have a mixture of two enantiomers. You have whether it's a racemic mixture or an enantiomeric excess, it doesn't matter. You have the R enantiomer and you have the S enantiomer in there. You cannot separate them because they have the same physical and chemical properties. But this is what you're going to do. You're going to add to it a molecule that is enantiomerically pure. You're going to add a molecule that has a chiral center or maybe two chiral centers and that chiral center is absolutely pure. So I'm going to put here the R. Normally they use tartaric acid that has two chiral centers and you could put two R's in here if you wanted to. It's not going to change what we're going to do. So we're going to do a chemical reaction between our pure enantiomer and then our racemic mixture in here. And what we're doing basically is joining our two enantiomers with a brand new chiral center that is exactly the same. So now notice I have the RR and the SR and just by that chemical reaction now I converted my enantiomers into diastereomers. Diastereomers are easy to separate so you get to lab and you're going to separate them. Oi. So I have the RR and the SR and they're in separate flask already. We did um, an experiment to separate them. Now whenever you actually just added that new chiral center, the pink R, we made sure that we could reverse the reaction. If you cannot reverse the reaction, then we have a problem. But if you actually cut out the R that we just put in, we take out the chiral center we introduced. We have accomplished a separation of enantiomers. So again, just to make it uh, again, you have your racemic mixture, you add a brand new chiral center, a pure enantiomer, and when they react, they form diastereomers, which can be easily separated. You separate your diastereomers and then you'd actually just take off the chiral center we introduce, the new chiral center we introduce, and that's how we separate the enantiomers. Whether it's a reaction that joins the two molecules together, or if you go to your book, they actually have an acid-base reaction that keeps the two chiral centers together because of electrostatic attraction of opposite charges. It doesn't matter. This is the same process simplified.